point is spend your money now for good tools and that will save you later. So you can be buy better equipment, you can equip your shop better. So always invest into the future and picking up the right tools is investment in the future. And you do, as you mentioned, make some of the highest precision parts in the world that you need to make. Would you mind Absolutely. discussing a little bit more about what you do here at your company? So we're focused on, uh, we're pre preliminary serving the semiconductor industry, uh, which is about 80% of our business. Um, I have a semiconductor background, so this is why we choose to go this way. But ultimately, uh, we're aiming to serve aerospace. We are about 10% of aerospace and we do some medical also. So the parts that we do have extremely tight tolerances and not just that, but for us, lead time is very important. Um, On-time delivery is one of our best, uh, best weapon that we have there against the competitors. And also, you know, picking up the right tools will reduce your lead time, but also will reduce your cost. So you also have to be cost competitive. And, you know, with where we stand is we cannot settle for anything but be the first one in the premium class of manufacturing. And the only way to do it is by picking up the right partners. You know, and another part that you said, Dico, that I liked a lot about picking up the right partners is the amount of cutting tool life you have. You've now doubled that. As Absolutely. Well. It's no wonder you can buy more machines and keep doubling your company if you're saving 60% of the cycle time. And Well, see, Tony, this is, this is where I'm going. A lot of shops have it wrong. You know, they think that uh, sharpening your tools, uh, buying cheap tools will actually save you on a cost and will, will make you a price competitive. This is absolutely not my point. My point is spend your money now for good tools and that will save you later. So you can be buy better equipment, you can equip your shop better. So always invest into the future and picking up the right tools is investment in the future. And Dico, speaking of investing in the future, as I close this out, my last question for you before I let you get back to your busy, busy schedule, which I know you have, yep. is you're talking about your partners and the investment in the future. When it comes to Heimer, are you looking into the tool holders, into the balancing machines, all the other parts and components that Heimer offer to continually increase those reduced cycle times, which is kind of an oxymoron, increase the decrease, right? But increase or decrease the overall cycle times, the balance, the longer tool life, the, everything that goes along with what Heimer offers. Absolutely, Tony. So as I mentioned earlier, we here in Kratos Structure, we're all about innovation, we're all about optimization, and we're looking forward to further solidify our relationship with Heimer. I mean, they have probably one of the best um, tool holders on the market. They have balancing tools, as you mentioned. So these are only tools that will bring us to the next level. And yes, we are looking to further explore all of their options. And I hope the next time when we see each other, I can tell you a little bit more about that too. And for those of you watching who want to know more about Deco, the growth of Crado Structures and how you can get involved, maybe he could be your supplier as well. We have another video coming through the MTD CNC channel that goes into detail about his story, his growth, and this is going to attract you to want to learn more about how you can work with Deco as well. Deco, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. You are incredible, my friend. Thanks a lot, Tony, and it's a pleasure to have you here once again.